YouTube, Dan the Bricks here, and welcome to this week's video. Of course, it's a haul video. It's a haul video I'm bloody excited for, and long-time viewers will know exactly why I'm excited for this haul video, because I bet you already know what's in one of these boxes. But I haven't got just one, I've got three boxes here. I've also got a little box as well. Now, I went a little crazy during the double VIP points that LEGO had in the first part of October, and that's exactly what I've got here. So let's rip in. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to start on the one because I just can't wait any longer. I wanna get it out, I wanna have a look at it. So I'm gonna start on the big box, the one that I'm most excited for. Let's put this over here, and let's get started on this big hua. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, uh, if you reckon you got it right, put it in the comments what you think's in this big box here. It's pretty easy this time. <laughs> oh, I think I just showed it a little bit, did I? Uh, this is always difficult to do. So, actually, I'm gonna put it on the floor. So, but I think I just gave it away, didn't I? I'm going to put it on the floor and I'm going to go like this. Sorry, I've got my back to you. But here we go. Wooshka! <laughs> yeah, boy. We've got the 1989 Batwing. Whew. Holy dooly. Look at this beauty. It's rather shiny. Got to like that. 18 plus. Man, this thing looks absolutely awesome, doesn't it? So I'm really, really keen. I'm gonna stop everything that I'm doing out in the Lego room and I'm gonna start building this one straight away. Well, not straight away, right now. But the next time I put some bricks together, this is what it's going to be. So I know I'm a little bit behind everyone. Uh, with Obviously, I have to wait for this to get shipped out to me and yada, yada, yada. So I'm a little bit behind everyone, but if you'd like to see me do a review on this, I don't do many reviews, but I think this one is definitely review worthy. I can do some other comparisons as well. So if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments and I will get that done for you. Uh, Cause I'm, I'm thinking I'm pretty keen to review that one. So let's keep going here. We'll skip the little box for now. This is actually a couple of action figures. And I just thought I'd share that with you as well. But uh, let's open another Lego box, shall we? So this was the first set that I got. I think I actually mentioned in this, this in one of the streams I did. I've done a, done a few streams lately. Um, just because I just wanted to catch up with everyone, see how everyone's doing, touch base. And uh, I did mention that I got this set. So this was my first VIP, I'm going to do the same thing, I put on the ground and uh, a big old box for quite a small set, I got Fiat 500, so uh, let's get a bit closer here, so I was um, kind of been waiting to pick this up on special and I did tell a story in I think the very first live stream I did where I had a a Lego coupon, I, I cashed in some VIP points and I was going to use it on the cantina, I missed out on the cantina, so uh, I had the $30 voucher, so I decided to use it on this set, so it's a $130 set, I think it was $140, might be $140, I got it for $110 Australian, so um, this completes my create a vehicle collection now that I've got this bad boy and uh, not one that I'm super excited for but I do really like it as well so gotta add it to the collection don't we so there we go that's that one right there and uh, let's let's do let's do the action figures before we do the last box shall we so let's quickly get into this one so I can't even remember where I got this one from. It was from Nin Nin Games. Let me cut the tape here. Now I got, now these are both Figuarts figures. And I got the 84 
Wonder Woman. Now, I wasn't going to get this figure because I have the older uh, Figuarts Wonder Woman and I also have the Mezco Wonder Woman, but the likeness, it's the likeness on this one that got me. Let's see if I can get where it's not as much glare. Can you see? Oh, it has a really good likeness to Gal Gadot, which the others don't. The others in my collection don't. Um, I really like the old Figuarts Wonder Woman. Uh, great for posability and the like. I do like the Mezco a little bit more than the, the old one, but I think this one's going to be my best one yet. So I don't think I really need three Wonder Woman, so I may end up selling on some of my other ones, probably the Mezco because the Figuarts, the old one's not going to be worth too much now with this one because this one's actually not too too bad a price really compared to what they charge, compared to what I paid for this one because this one is an online exclusive so you always pay more for them, I don't know why Figuarts do that, it's a real pain in the butt, I don't know why they just don't make them available instead of just having online exclusives. But I had to get this because this is one of my favourite MCU characters. And it's a villain. And I don't, well, let's say anti-hero. And I don't actually have too many on my shelf. I've only got Thanos. So I needed something to even the stakes. And I got Loki. So there we go. Um, and this is from the original original Avengers movie so have a look at that Let's see if I can show you the likeness there not great through the glare but uh, it's actually not too bad it's not as good as the Wonder Woman but not too bad great character big fan of Tom Hiddleston so wanted to add that to the collection so there we go a couple action figures but let's get on to the last box. And as you know, we're back working on the city. So I hope you did enjoy my first city update there. Of course, it's going to take me a little while to get into full-blown city updates because it's a big job. Setting up tables in the Lego room, moving the city, cleaning the city, all that sort of stuff. There's so much to be done, but I wanted to get something for the city. And I needed to get up to date as well. So I did pick up, oh actually, we got a little freebie in here as well. So got this, I actually think I mentioned in the live stream I got this with the, the Batwing. But actually no, I got it with this set. So um, the little uh, Mindstorms uh, gift set here. So that's pretty cool. Not really into mind storms at all. So I'm not sure what I'll do with that, but we'll figure it out. And but the set is I think this one deserves another Wooshka! <laughs> because it's a modular and we all love modulars, don't we? And this one, I think, is a return to form from the um the downtown diner and then the cafe, uh, the, the corner garage. I was gonna say the cafe corner. Um, the corner garage, I think this one is a definite return to form. I love the look of this modular. So very keen to add this to the new city. Once I get it going a bit more, of course. So um, Mrs. loves to uh, build the modulars, so I'm going to let her build this one, but yeah, have a look at that. Very nice indeed. And uh, as for the corner garage, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that because I'm not a big fan of the corners. I, I know it's, it, it's harder to place the corner builds. You know, obviously you've got to have a corner to put it in, so I may have to build that see what I reckon and then possibly pull it apart and build it again just face on pretty much what I did with the brick bank as well and just get um, yeah just get it straight on so I can just put it straight on the street we'll work it out but yeah there we go I think that 
is a fair haul and a half, isn't it? <laughs> so, took advantage of the double VIPs, that's for sure. I've got a whole whack of points now. So, uh, who knows what I'll use those. I'll probably save them up and uh, use them on, um, I don't know, maybe the next modular. Because we should get an announcement. Uh, what month are we in? So it's, what am I filming this? Right at the end of October. So yeah, November. We should hear something on a on a new modular fairly soon, I think. So we'll bring that in. And holy dooly, that is a haul and a half. Now I have got a whole stack of parts in as well. And someone a while ago commented to one of my videos saying they missed when I just did BrickLink haul videos. I'm just showing a heap of parts. So if you want to see that, I can do another haul video. Uh, who knows? Maybe sometime in November I'll do another haul video and I'll just show off all the parts. I've actually got a heap of parts have come in. A lot of it's for the city. Is going to be for the city. I've also got a heap of parts coming in. Uh, that could be down the track a little bit because I've ordered them from overseas. They're, they're freighting on a boat. So it's going to take a while to come over. But I've got something like three kilos, six, six odd kilos of parts coming. So again, that's for the city and the western town. So yeah, that's down the track. But if you want to see a a parts haul video, let me know that in the comments as well. So a couple of things, a parts haul, if you want to see that. If you want to see a review of the Batwing, please let me know in the comments. Give all your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear from you, so don't be shy. Let me know exactly what you're thinking, good or bad, I guess, down in the comments. And uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check me out on Instagram. I'm posting up on Instagram. I'm posting up a storm at the moment on Instagram. So. Please check that out as well, and I'll see you. Actually, first of all, a big thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs> time viewers will know exactly why I... <sighs> A little bit nervous. What's going on?